Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 40s World. Let's try to get on into this story because I don't want to tear it too long because this story is pissing me off. All right. We're basically on the same mess of these two, Jocelyn Hernandez and Stevie J. Okay. I kind of figured it out after I had time to back away from the situation and just watch things progress. Now, I'm not saying I'm right, but this is just my intuition kicking in. Between these two, they're lovely people. Like I said, I met them before. And how they clown around him, they clown like people that aren't celebrities. They they clown like everyday Joe Blows and Susie, two, Susie Q's running around him, okay? They acting like average, normal people fighting over child support, okay? This is a hot mess, and this must stop because this baby girl is too cute too lovable, and she need both of her parents on one accord. One accord is what I'm saying. She do not need to be tossed in the middle and trying to play on both sides of the fence, and the parents are doing it. Okay, I need to know, where is the judge? Where is the popo? Better yet, where are the grandparents? Because right now, Stevie don't need Bonnie Bella nor Jocelyn Hernandez. I need the grandparents to step up. I need each grandparent to take the child for two weeks, okay? And they both miss out on their grandchild or their child. Let the grandparents have a child for a while. If they can physically and mentally keep the child for two weeks at each um, parent's um, house, okay? Because this is just too much. Now, that was my first theory is that it's child support an issue or not. I mean, Jocelyn, it's hard out here. I know it's hard because I used to be a single parent, okay? But ain't no sense of, you know, begging Stevie, putting him in the court system. If he ain't going to pay, he ain't going to pay. And it seems like that could be one option. He's trying to just get as much dirt on you as possible so he can have um full custody because he know you're trying to work or you've been trying to work since you left him. And this music career still haven't taken off to where you would like it to be. Okay? It's pretty much in a standstill and you're still doing reality TV, which I think is a good thing for you. I love to see you on the camera. I love to hear you speak your language and just be tripping me out. Lovely person to look at. Even though she can get ratchet, I know y'all say she get ratchet, she get on other people's uh, nerves, and she be saying this thing. Yes, I know. That's the part she play, okay? But I met her before. She ain't like that in real life, okay? At least she wasn't with me. All right, stand up woman, okay? But as women, we get tired of our baby daddies or our dads not contributing the way they should be, okay? That's my whole video on the black man, okay? And how they... Or really like riding around on bicycle these days. I just looked one day when I was traveling. I'm, 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 I'm got off topic. I have gotten off topic just that quick. But just let me tell you now. You could maybe agree with me or disagree. But haven't you seen an influx of black men riding bicycles, y'all? Just take a look. When you're just out, you know, in the in the street, going about your day, all willy nilly, and you just, you know, throw. Uh, Caution to the wind, nothing's bothering you. You're just in a relaxed state of mind or relaxed mode. Just pay attention to your surroundings and just see how black men actually travel these days. And it, it, it's, 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 I don't know, I might have to do a video and just go out there and blog and let y'all see. And it's not just in the hood area, it's, it's in a affluent area as well, or they catch your buses. But I'm seeing too many women pushing their own rides. I don't care if they nice rides. I don't care if they ABC or ABC cars or, you know, just the bare minimum. Why is it that we have to do it all these days? Is it women's lib? Is that whole feminine period going around messing us up? Making our men just digress? Black men are speaking up. Don't know nothing about the other culture. I'm just on speaking of the black man, all right? But I ain't going to bash the black man. I'm not going to tear it too long. Like I said, it's another video. But just watch sometimes when you're just out there with your girls. You're just out there by yourself. And you're just looking. 
Okay, we're getting back to this story. The other opinion I would have to make, and again, it's just my opinion. Don't take it for uh, like it's the Bible, like it's the truth, like it's the Holy Grail. Don't take it, okay? Because at the time, yes, I be talking on point. Y'all don't hear me, though. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all just want to get in your feelings and take up for everybody and everything. But it ain't about taking sides. It's not. I'm an unbiased person. Now, if I say I'm biased with the video that I put out, then I'm just biased, okay? But I try to look at all perspectives. I'm a well-rounded individual. Now, I'm highly intelligent, okay? So don't get it twisted now, all right? But I'm just giving you my opinion. Just like you have an opinion, I have an opinion. Will we agree all the time? Probably not. Will we agree most of the time? Still probably not, okay? But I respect your opinion. Please respect mine. And when I do my videos, I don't really be dogging nobody. I just be <sighs> elaborating on what they're giving me. It's not like I'm going searching in the trash. I'm taking photos as they go through their life life's journey. It's not like I'm doing that, okay? The information is given to me, and I'm just saying, oh, I need to talk about that, or I, I need to have an opinion on that, and I want to see if somebody else feeling the same way as I do, okay? So that's when I bring my story, but what I'm looking at this thing, it could be Stevie J. Are you jealous of DJ Ballistic or something? Are you jealous that he's around your daughter, if he's around Jocelyn 24-7, they spend a whole hell of a lot of time together. Then nine times a ten, yeah, he's with Bunny and Bella because, honey, Bunny and Bella and Jocelyn are sold to the hip together. That's why I said she's a good parent. Now, getting into other avenues of her life, I can't speak on. But the love and the attraction they have for each other, you can tell that, that little girl, your little girl, Stevie J, loves her mom. And for you... To have the audacity to go and make such a big ruckus of uh, you need to see your daughter, you need to see your daughter. What are you really doing for your daughter now? Let's keep that in great emphasis. I can't believe Jocelyn would just not let you see your daughter if you've been doing the right thing. And I'm talking about making sure everything's straight in the financial department. You know, are you calling her every day? Or, you you know, are you trying to visit her? Now, I'm just talking about on a regular basis, not just this temporary thing y'all got going back and forth. You know, are you respecting her mom? Even though she don't respect you, and I know that's kind of hard to do sometimes, but somebody got to be the bigger person. Somebody got to be the more mature one, okay? Now, I'm just saying, is it all about DJ Ballistic hanging around your child? Is that getting your panties up in a, or your, or your boxes up in a uproar? You know, he's having more family time or manly time with your daughter and trying to raise her like a nice young lady and you feel in some kind of way. I mean, these are the avenues I'm looking at here because, yes, Jocelyn do. She paid in her own right. I got to get on Jocelyn too. She be posting up videos of little her and Bonnie Bell and not you know, giving you your fair time with her. That's why I said neither one of y'all need Mommy Bella right now. They need, she need to be with her grandparents, pretty much. So y'all can both miss her equally because both y'all are not doing right. Not right, not right, okay? Not right as rain, okay? Y'all just showing your asses and just like she posts up a lot of pictures and videos of her and Bunny Bella doing the darn thing, the single life, even though she's kind of attached to someone that you may feel some kind of way that he's spending a lot of time with your child. You can't even get 10 minutes with him. But then, now you're plastered off of social media, hanging out with Bunny Bella, just being disrespectful. Because I'm like, you should not be teaching your child to call you no Stevie. Stevie. You know, and you just pick a poke, ugh, poking fun at your uh, once fiance, baby mama. Now, about how she pronunciates your name or how she pronounces your name. You should be telling her to say daddy or what's my name. You she should be saying daddy and say, okay, well, what's my name if somebody asks you if you were in trouble? She should be saying Mr. Stevie Jordan, okay, or Mr. S. Jordan, okay, and be ready to recite the telephone number, okay? That's what you need to be teaching her, but making fun of her mother. And her pronunciation of how she says your name, 
and just putting her on social media doing what your baby mama did or you know or probably will still do but she just does it i believe out of adornment of her child and letting people know hey she loves her child and she's gonna be right there with her to the day she died can't care for her no more well i'm sick of both of y'all now both of y'all don't got on my nerves and including your adult children stevie in this mess this is totally disrespectful too you know what I'm saying? That's why I believe you didn't have your children at these said ages because uh, of your behavior of not wanting to pay child support. Joyce was one the first one that came out now. It was one, you know, we already knew Mimi had been blasted you out about you not doing right either way. But hey, Mimi feels like, hey, she needs her time and she definitely not had her time with uh, her y'all's daughter. So, yeah, she wants you to come pick her up in time she gets. She'll bring the baby to you. She don't care. That's your twin anyway because she looks just like it. Just like it. Like, you spit her out. Okay? Forget me, me. She's about to have some lookings or, or, or favorisms, uh, facial-wise features with her mom when she was smaller. But, mm, honey, that girl looks just like you. Mimi's daughter. Okay? But... What you're doing, Stevie, is, is, is downright atrocious. Granted, I ain't looking at the pot and ain't calling it black because Jordan did the same thing. But I'm just thinking, since y'all were basically separated and she had to assume the position of mother and, and dad and caregiver, social worker, caretaker, and all of that, it just goes on and on and on for a single mom. And she did probably get a, a lot of frustration out because you weren't doing what you were supposed to do as far as paying child support. And you want to live high and mighty. I don't know what you're doing with Faith Evans. I mean, you might need to get a job. I'm not sure what you're doing. Not trying to count your your your, uh, your monies, uh, dollars, coins in your wallet. But it seems like you got an awful lot of time on your hands and it ain't got nothing to do with making money. Okay. Are you living off Faith? Is that that what the issue is? You can't get it together. You gotta sit and and let her tell you to do everything because she's making the money now. I mean, what is it, Stevie? What is I'm coming at both you and Joyce because y'all just making a fool out yourselves and me too because I used to uh go hard for y'all when people used to come at me. I'm like, no, nah, they 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 good people. They good people. But uh, uh I'm right. Where the popo? Where is the judge? Better yet, again, where are the grandparents? The grandparents need to assume position. Say they're going to take this child this week. They, the other grand, uh, grandparents take it the other week and they just swap off until the judge feels like he wants to make a consensus of both situations and see where we're going with this. Because I know Jocelyn, she's supposed to be in a relationship. I don't know why the hell she on marriage boot camp. Because she ain't get, she ain't married to nobody. She's dating him. He's probably a live-in um, mate or partner or whatnot. But, I mean, come on. What happened to the union, the marriage, all of that, you know? Solidifying the deal. What's going on? I, I'm not understanding, okay? I'm, I'm not overstanding the situation. But let's get into this um, uh, No. Let's get into this article written by Atlanta Black Star on this little commentary I'm talking about and then gave my side pieces and sidebars on what I felt about it, okay? But a wonderful selection written by Tia Berger. She's one of the columnists, the journalists over there at Atlanta Black Star. Shout her out. Yes, Tia Berger, okay? She's giving us this article that's titled, Like Mother, Like Daughter, Stevie J. Lee's Fans and Stitches. After he teaches two-year-old daughter to say this, meaning the mispronunciation of his name. You know how Joyce used to be talking in her kind of a native tongue. She was talking half her language, half in American English, and it kind of got tongue twisted. And she was trying to go to a, like a language coach dialect to teach her proper ways of saying things and stuff like that. So, you know, she was very transparent with all of that. So he's on camera. I'm sure y'all don't saw it. If y'all watch his Instagram account when he's uh, recording, which he should be watching jo um, uh, Bet Bonnie Bella off camera and probably filming it for himself, but not for the world to see. But he's over there just being, you know, silly with the baby calling uh, him his name that other people 
what his uh her mother would call him. But anyway, it goes in to say the article reads Stevie J and Jocelyn Hernandez's daughter, Bunny Bella, is at an impressionable age where she apparently repeats everything her parents say to her. Therefore, fans were left cracking up after the father of six told the toddler to repeat his name, but with a foreign accent. Okay? Now, see, Steve, if you got people laughing at Bonnie Bella, and that ain't cool, okay? They might be, you know, cackling here and there, but, you know, we don't need to be watching no kid be disrespectful, you know? That's just wrong. Wrong of you. That's just bad. Bad parenting 101. Okay, that's one strike against you. I hope the judge is looking at what you're doing, picking fun at the your daughter's mother, okay? Then it goes on to say, Stevie J took Instagram, took to Instagram Wednesday afternoon and posted a video of himself and his youngest daughter lounging outside of his house on a trampoline. Recording with his mobile phone, the hitman producer urged his two-year-old daughter to repeat the word Stevie instead of his title, Dad or Daddy, as some social media users suggested. That's right. They were getting on his behind, his ass, okay? It need to be tore out the frame because he is not acting such as a father or a dad that's honorable and has morals about himself. He's tripping for the negative, okay? Then it goes on to say, Stevie, baby Bonnie, <laughs> baby Bonnie yelled at the camera, repeating after her father, Stevie. This is what Hernandez often called the music producer when her Puerto Rican accent apparently hinders her from pronouncing Stevie correctly. Several fans cracked up over Stevie J's post while others called him petty. I was on the petty train. I was feeling the same way. Not giving her more uh, moral judgment when she has the baby. But I'm like, I ain't never heard her talk against him in social media and she's taping and all that saying bad dad what's your bad what's your daddy name Who, who's the bad daddy you know something to that effect i've never seen her go that low okay she might be missing planes and not you know showing up with a baby trying to hold bonabella hostage which is a terrible thing to do you know it really is Joyce. that was bad on your part and i don't know why dj ballistic didn't tell you which is supposed to be your right hand person your lover your friend your confidant why he didn't say i'm uh -uh, bad move take that child to his father you know her, to her dad don't act like this you know he, he should have been doing stuff of that nature but i don't know karma heads didn't prevail that day but anyway, getting back to the article, it said, like mother, like daughter, I'm so done. I'm sure Jocelyn hates this video. He's so damn petty. Why he teach him to mock my girl? He sent this straight to Jocelyn before he posted it. He made her say, Steve B. This is not funny. Stevie is doing this to spite Jocelyn. Teach her to say daddy. He's so messy. He just missed Jocelyn saying his name. That's all. These are the commentators on his feed, you know, pretty much bashing him. Then it says the 32-year-old mother and Stevie J has been going back and forth in court over the custody of their daughter recently. Fernandez initially had primarily primary physical custody of baby Bonabella, uh, custody of baby Bonnie, but temporarily temporarily lost it to Stevie last week after she reportedly disregarded their custody agreement. She allegedly she allegedly refused him the right to see his daughter nearly two weeks ago, which served as a violation. The mother of one is asking a judge to have Stevie J return their two-year-old daughter to her and have the pending California arrest warrant against her drop, the blast reported. Stevie J and the reality actress are both due back in Atlanta Fulton County Court on August the 15th, which is actually today. I don't know why nobody broke a story about what happened. They being real hush-hush about this, y'all. When both parents will have an opportunity to resolve their custody dispute. As we know, because I don't know of anybody breaking any stories about uh, do Jocelyn have her back? I mean, totally, I'm, I'm thinking like this. If it's a money issue then neither one of them should have sole custody because we already know Steve ain't working. He's living off faith. Just my opinion. Don't have any 
direct facts to prove it. I'm just going on things, okay? I don't see his, I don't hear he's in the studio. I don't hear he's working with any type of uh, entertainers these days. But he definitely showed was at the Essen Fest this year with Faith, and you know everything was taken in hell. They even had some news on them that they weren't too, doing too good in their marriage, okay? But Faith was like, don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you hear. No, I'm just going to go with on that one. But, you know, like I say, sooner rather than later, everything that's done in the dark will come to the light, all right? But, I mean, that's pretty much all I had on the story. I'm getting tired of it. And it's a shame you always have to have some mediator in between to tell you how to act appropriately in a situation where both parents are not connected together in a relationship anymore and they both are just acting willy nilly. Okay. And it, the person that suffers the most is pretty Bonabella. Bunny Bella. Yeah. She suffers. So I'm like, let the grandparents have the child till she get at least, let me see. Well, she old enough to tell them they both stink. Okay, get it together. She loves both of them equally, and she needs them both to act right because she needs them in her life. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, where is Mimi at? Where is Mimi? Mimi, can you talk some sense into Stevie telling him to get that child back to his mama? Because he can't. What in the world he going to do with a child when he definitely like to live that nightlife type of atmosphere? Who going to be at home with Bunny Bill? His older daughters? And they got lives too. Oh, Stevie J, do the right thing. Return the child back to Jocelyn, okay? Let her be with her the majority of the time. You come visit because that's basically what you want to do. You want to come in, swoop down, take her for a weekend. Bring them back, okay? And just know, just know you're not going to get any money out of Stevie J. Just let, let him be the father he can be to her until he grows and matures a little bit more. Sometimes it takes people to hit their 70s, I guess, for them to mature. But in Stevie's case, he's taking a long tour around uh, to definitely see him as a father figure of any kind. Because like I said, he didn't really raise the other ones. That he has. And I don't forget how many children he had. He got about five, six, I guess. But the parent, the mothers had to go through, bear the brunt of everything, and pretty much be the mother and father because Stevie was pretty much absent. Okay? Because we did have one come on. I'm trying to think. It was one of the uh, girls that he was featuring when they were on Love and Hip Hop. And uh, they were, I think her name was Savannah. She was basically trying to be a part of the entertainment and wanted to deal with Mona, but it it went south, and I'm glad it went south because she needed to be in college somewhere learning and, and, and learning how to come up in the entertainment business the correct way where she's actually producing and, 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 and finding or, or, you know, some kind of agent where she gets a cut to get these uh, newcomers into the business and she's doing being the mover and shaker of their life and how she's going to make them make money. And she gets to cut first, okay? But it went past his kids. If they keep hanging around his behind, they're going to be ass out, okay? Because Stevie is like living on folks. I mean, I love my Stevie, but I got to call a spade a spade. And Joyce is not there. She's still trying to make moves. I don't know about the singing career. Don't look promising. But if you can stay on this reality TV show thing, it works for you, Joyce. The camera loves you. People love to interview you. They like you to host here and there. Go on and get your money that way. And don't bash Stevie. We already know. We already see what he's capable of. Okay? So you don't have to uh, bash him. And you don't have to not let him see his child. Okay? You're going through it. I went through it. Every other problem woman probably don't been through it. Daddies don't want to pay, but they still want to act like they're doing something. You know what I'm saying? And it hurts the baby. It really does. And we got too many young girls uh, fatherless because their fathers don't want to be around because they just don't want to be there or they don't want to pay child support. And, you know, they miss out on all the good things uh, that are uh, growing up. Uh, brings when you're trying to raise a child on your own, okay? But we're never really alone. We have people to support us. First and foremost, the Lord, and you, hopefully you have good family members around you to help you. And God bless the one who got his own when they just had to struggle and do it the best they could, the best they knew how. But I'm like, 
Still take that child back to her, her mama, okay? And you come visit, even if you have to camp out on the lawn or something. And if they want to arrest you, say, yeah, I just want to see my child. And then that'll make global news or at least the entertainment news sector. And, you know, we'll just have to come in and get on Justin behind about that mess, okay? But take that child back to her mother. That's where she belongs, with her mother, not you, Okay. You do what as little as you possibly can do, okay? Unless you are doing what you're supposed to do and you're not getting credit, then that's when you need to go to the courthouse and get, you know, a court order where y'all split custody. You know, but the child at that formative time needs her mom. She still needs the caring and nurturing, all right? And I don't know if she'd be getting that from Faith right now, you know, because I don't know what kind of relationship y'all have. Where everybody can come to calm her heads. But it, 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 evidently, it ain't calm. It ain't calm in the household. Because Faith should have jumped in and said, Now, nah, we even had y'all be fighting on no plane. Trying to get no babies healed. There and everywhere. Uh-uh. You just go up there and camp out. And see your daughter that way. Hell, just take the whole week up there. Get you a nice hotel. I pay for it. Don't don't worry about it. And then you just see your child. Ain't no sense you coming back and forth. Okay? Ain't no sense you going back and forth with this mess. But hopefully they'll tell us something of who got custody or who, you know, charges have they been dropped or whatnot. Because, you know, you can't put Joyce in jail. For what? You know what I'm saying? It's just calm ahead. It's not prevailing. That's it. Ain't nobody really did a crime. Nobody really. they just all in their feelings. And we just need to sort this stuff out. Okay? Before we take it out in the street. And then they be on the tube and we talking about them giving us our own opinions and speculations. Well, we don't know, man. We only know but what they don't broke out because we observing we're observing both parties and seeing how they're moving how they're shaking in them streets what they're doing in the nighttime hours when somebody should be watching bonnie bella okay but like i said i haven't heard anything bad or anything with jocelyn raising that child from you know when she was just carrying her in her arms steven now take that child back to that baby you don't make me waste too much time on this video already on foolishness all right y'all but if y'all like to, please comment, subscribe, and thank you. Share my videos, okay? Like, 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 subscribe, 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 and definitely, uh, what do you call it? Share my video, okay? All right, guys. I'll check y'all out for another video. Maybe not tonight, but then you never know. You never know what come on my may come over my feed, and I have to get out there and say, ooh, let me do another video. Okay, but other than that, peace and blessings. Bye.